My name is Davey, and I run a, com a computer software industry job, uh, career named ComputerWiz. Um, this girl named Anna Martinez came in to apply for a job. How are you? What's your name? Nice to meet you. What job are you applying for today? Computer software. Oh, nice, nice. So, uh, do you have any background in the in the field? She had no qualifications whatsoever. Anything like that? No. Um, so, what do you study in school? Um, yeah, what do you study in school to to think you're qualified for this? Biology. Biology. Very cool. Um, so, um, how many years have you uh, had experience in this career field? None? Okay. okay. So what are your goals in life? To make a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Anything else? No. Jack? No. Anything. Anything at all? Nope. Nope? Just to make a lot of money. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I, hmm. I, didn't, I didn't realize your last name was Martinez. That. That changes things. I'm not too sure. Now, I might have pointed out that her last name was Martinez, but she was not qualified for this job. Because I'm not sure if I want to hire someone of your race. I, I'm not sure. Like, I just don't know. I, I just really don't know. Um, this... oh. Whoa. No way would I have hired her. She had no experience in the field, she had no prior knowledge, and she had no years experience. No way. She, she was honestly a terrible fit for this job and that's why I didn't hire her. Hey, how are you? Hi. Thanks for coming in. I'm Jessie from Human Resources, and Anna Martinez came to me saying uh, that you were racially profiled. Okay, well I find that very, very unlikely just because her qualifications were awful. They were not even close to what I'm looking for for this job. Oh, really? Um, yes, really. Um, she had no experience, no prior knowledge in the subject, and her life goals were not even close to what I was expecting for an applicant for this job. Um, her last name is Martinez. I I didn't find that anything like interesting at all. Because I'm not sure if I want to hire someone of your race. I, I'm not sure. According to the claim from Anna Martinez, when you were interviewing her, you um, said something along the lines of her not being capable because she was Latina. Um, I disagree with that. I, I said, quote unquote, your last name is Martinez, and then I stopped. It was based on her qualifications prior to applying for the job, not because of her last name. The characters in this film, Anna Martinez and Davy Elmer, are faced in a moral dilemma of racial profiling during job interviews. This is something that still occurs today, and there are few options that can be taken along these routes. Anna Martinez could take this case to court, or she can drop it and apply to a different company. Oh my god, Daniel, you'll never believe what Davy said to me. He's such a mean person. What do you say? He, he, okay, well, he interviewed me for this job for um, computer software, and I'm so qualified, mm. and he said no to me because I'm Hispanic. Mm, so this is a race issue. Mm -hmm. well, Can you should, defend me? <laughs> um, of course, I specialize in all types of race issues. Um, I think we should definitely take this to court. We should. Um, how much do you want to sue for? Five million. Okay, yeah, that's a reasonable amount. Um, <laughs> you'll be very rich after this, I can guarantee you yes. that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choke me. <laughs> um, so, how did he offend you? Well, 
I did my whole interview, and then he's like, wait, so what's your name again? And I said, Anna Martinez, and he stopped, and he's like, oh, oh, I don't think I can do that. You're Hispanic. Like, and what race is David? White. He's a white skin. Okay. Um, so, Caucasian. yeah, Caucasians um, are sometimes racist, but um, we're going to take this to court and we're going to get you out. We're going to figure this out, alright? Okay, good. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Davey, um, so it looks like you'll be defending me today. Alright, I'd love to defend you. Okay, so this girl, Anna Martinez, came to me looking for a job, and I rejected her application because I thought she was not qualified, but apparently I said something about her last name being the reason why she wasn't hired, and apparently she's taking me to court for it. So I need you to defend me for it. All right, well, your company's only worth $2 million, and they're trying to see you for $5 million. So that's completely ridiculous. So I got you, we're gonna win this case. We're going to win it. I'll tell you a couple reasons why. I, I rejected her because she had no prior experience, none whatsoever, no, Year, no years uh, of prior knowledge and her life goals, she was not even close to being qualified. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't hire her, not because of her last name, and we gotta defend that. Okay. Right. January 1st, 2013. Anna Martinez goes in for a job interview, states her last name, the white interview her. Here's her last name, Martinez. And guess what happens next? She's rejected because of her race, because of her skin color. It's ridiculous. I'm, she should be sued. <laughs> you're not suing me, you're suing my client, which is your first, your first problem. I just want you to see it. I can edit out whatever suit you get. My client has the right to refuse employment to anybody who is not qualified. Anna Martinez had no qualifications, she had no prior experience, and this isn't even the job that she wanted to do. Hmm. Well then why was she rejected right when she stated her last name? Because it's on her resume. It has nothing on it. <laughs> My turn? Well, it seems based on the uh, two... Uh, speeches given by it seems like uh sarah is guilty yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, davy is guilty and just <laughs> make me making a decision based on guilty <laughs> the judge decided to liquidate my company he claimed i was racially profiling against some applicant that came to me named anna martinez there are many cases similar to what you have just seen. Keep in mind that the actions within this case were not based on real life examples and do not occur in the way that they occurred in this video. However, this is a real and present problem. The point of this is to say that racially profiling people is not ethical. And to say that it is ethical could, could involve a court case and it could get you convicted like me.